I live, train, and preach in small town Lake Charles, Louisiana. My dad taught me karate. He had his own system that combined some traditional karate with boxing and kickboxing and whatever else he wanted to throw in. Thanks to him, I was learning martial arts by the time I took my first steps. A couple years ago, I uh, retired from MMA full contact. Uh, I didn't have the, uh, the time to put in the training for jiu-jitsu, wrestling, striking, all the things, uh, and run the business and do what I felt like God called me to do, help him with the church. Um, so it was tough. About a year later, I got the call from Karate Combat, and they said, hey, you want to fight full contact karate match, three three-minute rounds. Um, it's a free trip to Budapest, um, they said. So I was like, yeah, cool, three three-minute rounds, no problem. So I went, did the, did the event, um, and fell in love with it. I felt like it was a sport design right for me. I always trained striking. We still train striking here. Um, took the ground out to play in it, and it was high-level elite guy, so I just thought it was... Is it God's give back to me? I got a taste of karate combat, loved it. Uh, and I felt like I was gonna be the world champion. And then at Evolution, my first uh, official fight um, versus Abdallah, uh, I get knocked out. Uh, I was confident. In fact, I came in overly confident. I was too confident. Uh, I was careless and I paid a price. Luke 14 says, he who exalts himself will be humbled. And humbled I was. He showed up, he beat me. Um, at that point, I go to fight Vitaly Satan. I beat him, and, and then I want to get back on track for the world championship. And from there, I started winning and working and winning. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Joshua Quihir. That is good. Back yeah, in August, see. really right before the, the championship fight came out, uh, uh, Hurricane Laura just basically ripped up our city, so it tore apart our gym and most of our city. We're still rebuilding quite a bit. It didn't matter what was going on, just like uh, um, guys would go through struggles. That's where that's where that warrior spirit comes in. It's so easy to, to be a victim and sit back and say, hey, look at what we got, look at what we're dealing with. Hey, let's, let's back, we gotta stop, we gotta, no, let's figure it out. It has been tough and it's been struggle, but we kept going and we kept going.